Founded in 1817, the American School for the Deaf was the first permanent school for the deaf in the United States and a nationally renowned leader in providing comprehensive educational programs and services for deaf and hard of hearing students. ASD embraces an American Sign Language English bilingual approach to provide our students with a dual language foundation in both American Sign Language and English. The American School for the Deaf Thinking Maps journey began like a seed that was planted. It started with just a few people learning how to use the maps, learning what they meant, trying to figure out how it would apply to our school and teaching deaf and hard of hearing students. As time went on, the seed began to grow. More people began to join us at the table. As we trained our staff, we also rolled it out with our students. And as that happened, we saw our plant begin to blossom. We saw the students' thinking begin to grow and change and vary. We saw their ideas become more flexible. We saw them applying these ideas in many different places and making connections across the curriculum. Now as we complete our first year of our Thinking Maps project, we continue to see our students grow and develop. We've seen teachers expand their ideas and raise their expectations for our students as we now have become a Thinking Maps school. I went to training to become a trainer of teachers, which means I help guide teachers with Thinking Maps. I enjoyed that training so much. Wow, it changed the way I think. Thinking became simpler, clearer, and more organized through Thinking Maps. I was so excited to show the whole school, the teachers, the students, and help spread Thinking Maps throughout the ASD community. I really enjoyed it. It was challenging, but I enjoy how it demonstrates and models the process step by step. The students have a variety of learning styles but I think Thinking Maps works for every student here at ASD. We now use a new tool called Thinking Maps. One example is to use a flow map. How would we use this map? Well, they are boxes on a page all connected in sequential order. In each rectangle is content. It's simple, it's fast, and visually clear to the students. The students pick it up quickly. They feel confident they can follow the expected lesson at hand and proceed. They feel less overwhelmed and less stressed. It's great. I had the deeper training, so I did have six days, which was awesome. The whole staff being trained now, um, I'm helping them as far as implementing the system and making sure we're doing things consistently. Um, so it's nice to see the knowledge being applied and um, it being applied all throughout the school and all of their um, various avenues. We always begin a new activity with a circle map, which is brainstorming, and that's a good place to start. Um, and then you see what they know, they see what they know or don't know, and that can help you guide your lesson. I like that they're, I think they're feeling more confident 
that it's another tool that they have to use, but it's something that they'll carry with them always. It's not a difficult thing to learn. Um, once you get the basics down, you have it. It's intuitive, um, but also to see that they're capable of thinking for themselves so they can guide themselves or have each other guide them. Oh, I do like thinking maps, and the reason why is because it really helps me improve my thinking skills. So if I'm working on a project, for instance, I'm able to sit down and write out all the thoughts I have about that project in a circle map, and then I switch it over to a tree map, and I organize all the information into categories, and then for the final project, I'm able to lay everything out, and I feel like it's so easy, and it helps me really get good grades on my projects. Well, it's helped me be more organized with my ideas. So if I have a project to work on, I can lay out everything I'm thinking of and later use it on my Chromebook project. Or if I'm working on homework and I need some kind of help, I can lay everything out that I'm thinking about and then eventually use that to help me organize my thoughts. Oh yes, because if I have a test and I look at the thinking maps, it helps me to organize my thoughts clearly Rather than if I was just to look at a study guide, I feel like that would be much more vague and confusing for me to understand. <laughs>